Super Steph is a bird, it's a plane, it's me. Guess what I did yesterday? I took my wife to the movie theaters and we went to go see Black Widow, the new Marvel movie. And now what I'm gonna do is give you a non-spoiler review. I'm gonna tell you how I felt without giving you any of the secret to the movie. I'm gonna try to be brief too. Overall, Black Widow was the type of movie that when you're watching it, at first you're like, oh snap, oh shoot, it's about to be crazy. And then it's like, eventually you're just like, oh man, I, I, really, really, really? And that's exactly how it was for me. It was like, the beginning of the movie was awesome. It was epic. It was like, I loved it. I love the origin story of Black Widow. I love, um, the Red Room and how they have a bunch of Black Widows and all that. That's not a spoiler. Um, I love that whole concept. I love how uh, her and and her uh, younger sister character, Yelena, uh, came together with uh, my man, the Red Guardian and um, Iron Maiden, the, the lady. Uh, I love how they came together, you know, in the beginning. Um, I love their dynamic. I love the beginning of the movie as, as as it progressed. I love how they built up that uh Black Widow was on the run after the events of Civil War. I loved how um I love how Taskmaster first came in and how they was they was uh you know they was rocking and everything. You know, the the action scenes in the beginning of the movie and even towards the middle, it was good, you know? Um I really enjoyed it and I was really hyped up thinking, oh, this is, this movie's about to be epic. It's about to be one of the greatest Marvel movie, movies I've ever seen. Um, and then we got towards uh, the middle of the movie where, you know, things kind of slowed, slowed down as they always do. And you start getting a little bit more, um, a little bit more uh, meat to the story. You know, uh, you learn more about the, the villain. Um, and, you know... You're thinking we're building up to an, to an amazing climax, right? Because of all the, the talking in the middle and building up. I love the character build up towards the climax. Again, I really, really dug the younger sister character, Yelena. She was awesome. She deserves to be on another TV show or movie or whatever. Like, she deserves to be a part of the MCU from now on. Like, she's dope. Uh, I thought Red Guardian was hilarious. I thought Iron Maiden was cool, you know what I mean, as being like an older Black Widow uh, mother-like character. I thought she was cool. Um, but again, when we got to the climax, that's where things started to get nonsensical. The way they brought it all together, it wasn't like it lacked action, like like uh, how I felt about Captain Marvel. I felt like Captain Marvel just, it didn't have enough action. It was kind of boring. I don't think that Black Widow was boring. And I didn't think that the climax was anticlimactic. I thought that it was uh, it was a little bit too fantastic. Like it was like we had to really suspend our belief to actually like enjoy it. And I couldn't enjoy it because it was so ridiculous. Like some of the stuff that, she, that they they tried to pull off during the climax was like really. It really it kind of gave me the same feeling that Fast Nine gave me. Um, the week before, I went to go see Fast and Furious 9. And the ending, the climax and the ending of Fast and Furious 9 was just so ridiculous. I was like, okay, y'all have jumped the shark for real. I mean, I think it's safe to say everybody knows now that um, they actually went in space. Okay? <laughs> they actually went in space. They had, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, Tyrese and Ludacris' characters go into space. Okay, so, and that was like, oh, really? So I kind of got the same feeling watching the end of Black Widow, the climax, because the, the action was just too contrived. It was too, everything was too convenient. It was like, this is too much of a coincidence. This doesn't feel like real life to me. Not to mention Black Widow does not have superpowers and she survived a lot of crap to not have superpowers, okay? Like I would, I would venture to say she survived stuff that Captain America would 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 probably come out of there kind of beat up. And she she survived heart without hardly a scratch doing a bunch of stuff in there. And it, ugh, 
I don't want to ruin it, so I'm not going to tell you exactly what happened, but everything kind of fell flat. Uh, with everything, with Taskmaster, with with uh, with uh, Drakeoff, I think that's how you say him, say his name. Like it all fell flat. It was like really, really. Um, the action was okay. You know what I mean? It was it was action packed, but it was it was it was ridiculous. It, it started to look like a like a wacky cartoon. It was almost like they wanted you to laugh at it, but you know they really didn't want you to laugh at it. Like. It's different from when you're watching something like uh, Ant-Man, where it's like the whole thing is lighthearted the whole time. But when you're watching something that kind of like digs deep and, and starts to, you know, get get uh, an emotional response from you, like like Black Widow did. Um, they just kind of like snapped you out of it with the craziness of the climax, even though they were still trying to get you to, you know, feel like this is an emotional moment in the climax you know what i mean um they did a good job building up to the climax like trying to get you emotional and trying to get you to really feel their pain and all that but once you got to the climax all that went out the window because now you're too distracted by the the, the stupidness it's like <laughs> you're you're kidding right um it also reminded me of how black panther um like it was really good at building up the emotion inside of you, you're you're emotionally invested, and then when we got to the climax, like the the, the fight scenes were a little wacky, and it was like with the rhinos and stuff, it was like all right, man. And then with the CGI, with the two panthers fighting, it looked like a video game you you were watching. It was like all right, really, okay. And then we, I mean, it kind of brought it back in towards the end with Killmonger dying in his arms, but you know, the fight scene had really kind of taken away from that. Um, and I feel the same way about Black Widow. The the climax, the fight scenes, the how uh, how she dealt with Drake off and and Taskmaster and all that. Um, it kind of took away from what they had built during the beginning to the middle of the movie. So all in all, I would give Black Widow a grade of a C plus. Man, it was looking like it was about to be a solid A, and then it just started taking. It was like, no, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Oh, you're gonna do that, really? You really gonna do that? Oh, you just gonna you just gonna lean into it, huh? You gonna plant your flag all the way down there? Okay, I'm gonna have to give you a C plus, Black Widow. I'm sorry. I love you. It was better than Captain Marvel. It was better than Captain Marvel. I'll give you that. Um, but yeah, um, it's the type of movie that I don't know if I would watch it again. I probably would watch it again, but not like <sighs> it would be like on one of those days where I don't have anything else to watch. And it's like, oh, Black Widow's on Disney Plus. Eh, what the heck? Throw that on really quick, you know. But if I was like in a real like MCU mood, I wouldn't pull that that movie out to watch. It just was like, unfortunately, it, it, it just didn't measure up to everything else it didn't stick the landing i'm sorry i apologize i didn't want to give y'all bad news man i really wanted to like black widow i was really excited to see black widow what you gonna do man what you gonna do so that's my grade c plus super Steph is a bird to plane it's me make sure to like share and subscribe to Stephen pfeiffer youtube channel and trying makes me happy so i'll never stop i always live in god's imagination you already know hello and this is Stephen Pfeiffer in the house welcome to the Stephen show still got it